Welcome to the beginner's guide for manual controls in iPhone photography. Today we're going to be taking a look at our fifth and final video in the series, ISO. ISO is an abbreviation for International Organization for Standardization. ISO sets the amount of light sensitivity for the camera sensor. In other words, it amplifies the signal. The higher the ISO, the higher the amplification factor of the sensor. Pro. When you amplify light, the photo obviously gets brighter. Con. When you amplify things like you do with sound, for example, you're also amplifying the noise. So higher ISO settings tend to be noisier photographs. So in less than ideal lighting situations, you often face trade-offs. And having knowledge about how ISO and shutter speed work will help you to make wise shooting choices so you can take the best photos for any given situation. The iPhone has a default ISO range from ISO 2000 all the way down to ISO 25. Most smartphones, the iPhone included, are optimized for the best results at low ISO settings. Camera Plus, working hand in hand with the new extended range of shutter speeds, also has an extended range of ISOs. Camera Plus now gives you an extended ISO range from ISO 20 to 0.01 that's low. Throughout the extended shutter speed ISO range, the preview that you see in your viewfinder is a pretty good indication of what you're going to get. No guesswork. You remember what I told you earlier about how the camera defaults to a low ISO and a high shutter speed, with the exception when you're shooting indoors under low light conditions like we are here. Look what I'm shooting here on camera plus. It's 1 over 1 80th of a second at ISO 2000. The noise level of high ISOs is going to show up in the dark areas of the frame, like right here and right here. I'm going to take that shot. What about if we want a low noise ISO indoors? I'm going to hit that right here. And you can see in camera plus, I have now manual control over the ISO and the shutter speed. Let's first dial this all the way down to as low as we can. I'm going to change this a bit. I'm now working in the extended ranges of uh, Camera Plus. I'm going to try to bring it down to uh, ISO 1. You can see it right here, ISO 1. Now I'm going to compensate here on the shutter speed side to get the exact look that I want. That looks about right, maybe a little lower. So now I am at ISO 1 with a shutter speed of 8 seconds. Looks pretty normal. I'm going to shoot that. That's perfect. That's going to give me a beautiful interior shot that has low noise because I'm shooting at a low ISO. Being able to manually control both your shutter speed and your ISO is getting you one step closer to creating DSLR-like images. Happy shooting.